Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report, here to talk about converting a Mosin Nagant rifle to a bullpup with the Center Balance Systems MNAR kit. The aesthetics usually don't mean anything to me, but this took a turd of a rifle and turned it into a really cool looking rifle in my opinion. So thanks for spending some time with me. Uh, if you don't know Gear Report, if you're new to our channel, we do gun reviews, we do custom builds, we do modifications, we do you know a variety of stock rifles and pistol reviews. We also do outdoor stuff like kayaking gear, camping, backpacking. If any of that stuff sounds interesting to you, we'd really appreciate if you subscribe, maybe hit the little bell button. That is the notification setting that will let you know whenever we post a new review. New reviews like this one, they're called Center Balanced Systems. This bullpup kit they call the MNAR. MN is Mosin Nagant. AR is that you're using a standard AR-15 pistol grip. But aside from that, I mean, this isn't that AR-like. This is a bullpup. It's a very space age looking bullpup. I've had people say this is the ugliest gun they've ever seen. I've had people say it is one of the sexiest guns they've ever seen. How we got here is we started with an M44 Mosin Nagant. This is an Izzy, so it's a Russian model, not, not one of the Chinese copies or one of the other types. This was the ugliest, most beat up rifle I have ever seen in my life. I was afraid to shoot it when we got it. It looked that bad. We have practically transformed it into a new rifle that looks pretty awesome. Mosin Nagants are pretty durable, so even if it looks like crap, it's probably still functional as long as your headspace is right and you know you got a good firing pin and spring. You know, honestly, it wasn't that hard. It probably took you know 30, 40 minutes to take it out of the old stock and put it in here and get everything lined up and bolted together. We actually have three different options. I only brought one of them out here, but they sent a couple different uh, aft sections for this. This one has a little monopod that can fold down in the back. So, and we've got a rail on the bottom. This is an aluminum rail, aluminum on the top, aluminum on the sides. A couple of the other pieces I think are steel and kind of a wrinkle coated finish. Uh, really nicely done. So if you have it on a bipod, you can actually get some stability with it there. Why would you make a bullpup out of a bolt action rifle? Yeah, you know, that's kind of what I thought at first as well. And you see how this works? If, if you have this lock shut and shoulder it normally, you can't even operate the bolt because it's going to hit you in the shoulder. So if you just get used to holding this just a little bit higher on your shoulder, then you can actually fire, cycle your bolt, fire, cycle your bolt. You never have to um, take your trigger hand off of the trigger. You, you keep kind of close. You don't get to keep your cheek well because you see this piece, when you cycle, it folds up out of the way. It's hinged. All right, so you don't get to completely keep your cheek weld, but you know, you pop it up. That bolt is going right over the top of my shoulder. It's actually touching a little bit, but it works okay like that. And then, you know, I can come right back down and I got my cheek weld and I'm ready to shoot. So it's, uh, it's not like firing a semi-auto where you can maintain your cheek weld the whole time. But for a bolt action rifle, you know, normally it would be, you know, with it way out in front of you on a regular stock. And then you've got to break your cheek weld so you can cycle your bolt with your trigger hand and then get it back down there, find your trigger and fire again. This way is actually a little quicker in my opinion. Uh, you just have to get used to that reaching over the top. I think it looks cool. From an ergonomic standpoint, I just demonstrated what I think is an improvement in the functioning of the rifle. It's easier to hold it in tight like this. And you, you can use it for more things uh, in thick brush, for example. It's in tighter even than it would be in that M44 configuration so that I'm not banging it on stuff. I like bull pups in general. I think that the way this is configured, it works okay as a bull pup as a bolt action. Not as good as a semi-auto bullpup, but given where we're starting with a Mosin, it makes it about as good as it can be ergonomically. Yes, my cheek weld is right above the aft end with the chamber right here in front of my nose. So if it ever does blow up, 
it's going to blow up right in my face. That's not a good thing. Um, it would be better if that happened farther forward on a normal rifle. So that is a risk you're going to take with any kind of bullpup as you get your firing happening right close to your face. So if there's a catastrophic problem, it's going to be more catastrophic. Typical complaints with bullpups is there's a linkage that comes from the trigger group, which is back here up to the actual trigger that, that you use when firing. And in this case, it is actually a pretty smooth trigger. It doesn't have a lot of slop in it. It doesn't have a lot of flex in it. It feels the same every time, and it's pretty light. I mean, most can have heavy triggers to begin with. The way this is set up, it, it actually lightens the trigger quite a bit. I mean, you get some mechanical leverage built into this linkage, and it makes it easier to shoot. You see, I have it configured with a set of uh, pop-up iron sights here or, or fold-up iron sights. You could put an optic on it as well if you like. For what I do, you know, shooting at the range with this, this does fine. You know what, I may take this out and do some hunting with it at one of the closer in locations that I deer hunt and see how it does for that. I'm really happy with this. For around 300, 325 bucks, you can get this MNAR kit. It is incredibly well made. Uh, this is, uh, I believe this is bent up here. They cut it and bend it. This bottom part appears to be bent as well. There's an extruded rail on the top and bottom. This section, your, your lower receiver area, they're not cutting back on expenses here. This isn't some cheap stamped part. This is a custom made milled piece. Even in the back section, you have different options on how it's configured. And you can get a flat bolt kit. You know, so instead of having a knob, you have a paddle that sticks out. And actually when it's closed, folds down into the side of the stock. So I'll put a link in the description where you can go to the CBRPS website and see how that other type of bolt handle integrates into the stock and folds flat, makes it a little more streamlined, um, a little more space age looking as well. Hope you've enjoyed this review of the Center Balance Systems MNAR Bullpup Conversion Kit for a Mosin-Nagant Rifle. Please leave any questions or comments you have down below the description. Give us a little thumbs up if you like this video. Please hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. You're welcome to go check us out. We're on all the major social media platforms. Then let us know what reviews you'd like to see in the future. For now, 
we'll see you at the range.